Howdy, welcome back to my channel. Uh, yeah, I have a clicky keyboard now. It's pretty annoying, but I had to give my girlfriend the quiet one, bless you, so I could uh, record without you guys hearing in the background coming from her. But yeah, I have the clicky one now. But uh, that aside, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys about Roblox lighting for probably the third time because they just can't stop changing it. But luckily, they've made it really easy now. Basically, before you used to require two brain cells to use Roblox lighting features, now you only require 0.1. Matter of fact, this crab on my shoulder, which I don't even think it's sentient, it could probably do Roblox lighting now. So let me show you guys how it all works. So right here, I just have a few ugly like lamps. Inside those lamps is a point light with shadows that are enabled. If I turn off the shadows, you can see, wow, shadows are gone. So let's just mess with the lighting settings. So if you go to lighting, you used to go here, and there used to be like a lighting mode or whatever, and there would be, I think, future, voxel, and a few other things. But now it's just realistic and soft. And you also have a new thing called prioritized lighting quality. So you're probably like, well, if I'm in realistic, I want to have that on so my lighting quality looks good. Well, if you turn it off, nothing's really changed. If you zoom out, you can see there's like a little like layer that will go over it to like lower the quality. But if you turn prioritize lighting quality on, that still happens. So what does this do exactly? Well, basically, realistic is what used to be future lighting. And soft is, I believe, shadow map. So if I click shadow map, if you have prioritized lighting quality on, you'll be you'll get shadows from things like the sun. So the sun, or the moon in this case, casts a shadow. Now, if you actually turn prioritize lighting quality off, you switch from shadow map to voxel lighting, where there is just that subtle little, like, I don't even know what that is. And there's no shadows from anything. Like, I mean, maybe my player casts a shadow. Let's see. So I have a shadow. Ooh, uh, okay. I have a shadow by default. But none of the objects in the world really have a shadow. It's very subtle. But then again, uh, it seems like my shadow is barely visible when I'm standing near these lights. But yeah, you can't see anything, like any of these things. If I turn on the shadows, now we all have shadows, but they only come from the sun. Or the moon, I don't know why I keep calling it the sun. But if I switch it to realistic, now we're using future lighting, where everything has its own dynamic shadow. So basically, that's all you need to know when it comes to lighting style and prioritize lighting quality. That's really all it does. You can switch from future to shadow map, and then if you turn prioritize lighting quality off, you go back to voxel lighting, which I don't know why anybody would want to use this optimization wise. I'm sure it's great, but this is not very good looking compared to even just like using a shadow map. This looks better. Now, if you're making a realistic horror game with like proximity prompts that make people wait 30 seconds to open a trash can lid or some stupid crap like that. Yeah, you use realistic lighting because inevitably this looks the best. So yeah, yapping aside, that's a simple explanation of how that works. One thing I forgot to cover is if you go to lighting and you are in realistic, if you're in soft, you won't see it. But if you're in realistic, you can see shadow softness. So by default, your shadows are probably super sharp. You can see that there's like little bumps on the top. If you turn shadow softness up a little bit, you can actually make that those corners like more rounded off. Makes your lighting look a little bit more professional. So yeah, don't forget to mess with that. Everything else is basically the same though. You can change diffuse scale, brightness, ambient. That is all covered in my previous tutorial. So I won't go too deep into it. But basically you can change like the outdoor ambient, make it so it's there's a red hue to the lighting. Diffuse and specular, basically those are just how light bounces around. So if I turn it off, you can see shadows kind of just go away. Shadows from this, that goes away, but the shadows from here are still here. And this changes like if you have, like basically if you have materials like metal, they'll kind of take in light from their surrounding lights, which will tint them. But if you turn off the way that lighting bounces by turning these to like zero, there will be no like, like check this out. So if I go here, metal. Lighting kind of bounces off of that. If I mess with the settings, you can see that it lost a little bit of lighting that came from the sun or the moon. If I turn this down, you can see that it just lost 100% of the shadows and the light that's bouncing on it, besides that light directly from there. But if I turn it up, light bounces off of it, which makes it look more realistic. Then we just turn the moon back on. But yeah, that's basically all there is to cover with this. Everything else is super simple, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. But yeah, 
So yeah, this is just a dumb room and I put one of the lamps in the ceiling to pretend it's like a ceiling light. But lighting still definitely comes down to preference. Like I'm in realistic right now with everything cranked up. You could totally rock a good old shadow map lighting. This gives it that old Roblox feel without really killing your lighting. But yeah, fret not. If you want even less lighting and you want to like, you know, keep your games optimized for mobile players, you could still access Voxel. It's just that they remove the names. So instead of it being future, Voxel, shadow map, you know, all the lighting types, let me see if I can find an image. So this is a really low quality image. I might be a moron. It might not actually be Voxel lighting I'm thinking of. But yeah, instead of these four lighting types that you would choose from, they simplified it into this, of course. This is future. I'm going to assume this is either. No, this is definitely shadow map. And then if I turn this off, I'd say it's either voxel or compatibility. But these are just assumptions. I'm going to be real. I'm totally making this up. So it could be the other way around. But for the most part, you still have good customization of your lighting engine that you want to use for Roblox. And hopefully this update means that they're bringing shaders because it'd be pretty cool. And I know somewhere in the lighting, if I can find it. Oh yeah, they're adding things like color grading effects, which for now it only has tone mapper preset, which lets you choose between default and retro lighting, which basically just turns the brightness up and the saturation down maybe, I don't even know. But it'd be cool if they added shaders. I'd really like to add me some shaders to my Roblox games. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, I'm glad. If you learned something, I'm glad. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know what you think was wrong with it. And I can take you out back and beat you up later. But yeah, thanks for watching. More is to come. Uh, don't forget to brush your teeth. And uh, Hercules says goodbye.